Pisces. Welcome to the weekly love reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. This is from, <coughs> excuse me, this is from October 22nd to the 31st. So for those who are new to my channel, I always go over my, my meditative session first. Uh, Mercury's been playing around with my speech a lot. We're not even in retrograde fully yet. But anyway, Pisces, back to you guys. So Pisces, the meditative session, let's go over that and then we'll go ahead and do the pre-shuffle on screen and then we'll do the actual tarot reading, okay? For those who are new to energy work or who are unfamiliar with it, <laughs> unfamiliar with it, uh, it's energy that I pick up in and around you, okay? So it's energy that you could be experiencing directly or someone within your environment or someone you're energetically attached to. And yes, it is energy, so it can be reversed or vice versa. Pisces, you guys feel light. I like it. You feel very light. I feel like you recently let go of a lot of things or just dropped shit or cut people out of your life. You're just feeling really light and airy, which I really, really love for you, Pisces, because a lot of you had a really tough year, okay? A lot of you had a really tough year, and I do feel because you've created all this energetic space, you're going to have a lot of stuff coming in for you, Pisces. I did see some weird, weird channel, not weird, I need to stop using that word. Um, I got little mini channelings for you guys, and I had the same thing happen with Scorpio. The first thing I saw was chocolates, like I literally saw a box of chocolates, <laughs> which is really kind of funny. I was like, okay, I think you guys are just indulging a lot, and keep in mind, Pisces, you guys do like to feel good, you're Pisces. We know you like your drinks. We all know that. But you guys also like to indulge quite a bit because you like to just feel good, energetically speaking. And sometimes, you know, vices can help you feel good. Uh, we are in Libra season still, technically, as we're going into Scorpio. So keep in mind, indulgence is very big for a lot of people, especially for you, Pisces. You're probably really feeling it, especially if you have Libra placements, okay? Especially if you have Libra in the sixth house. Be mindful of that. Anyway, Pisces, back to you. I feel like you guys are indulging a lot. Nothing wrong with feeling good. Just make sure you're not, you know, everything in moderation. The next thing I got was a little sexual. I'm gonna just mm, a little sexual. Um, someone wants to taste you, <laughs> or you want to taste someone. Hey, we're all adults here. We're all adults. We're all adults. But there's definitely something about tasting, sampling, something very yummy. Okay, Pisces. Uh, I feel I really feel like someone's craving you. Honestly, I feel like someone's craving you. It can be vice versa, of course. But anyway, Pisces. Um, someone wants a little taste. Someone's craving fish, apparently, in a good way. Um, anyway, <laughs> sorry, Pisces. Anyway, I feel like you're really, like, really looking forward, though. I feel like you're pressing ahead, and you're keeping pace. You're not trying to, like, outdo anybody. You're not watching other people. You're not comparing yourself to other people. You're just... You're just going on your path, and I do feel like it's a nice, steady pace. You're not trying to, like, exponentially get somewhere really fast, and you're not taking your time either. You're just living your day-to-day, -day, Pisces, and it just feels really, really good. But like I said, a lot of you just recently let go of a lot of things, cut people out of your life, got rid of burdens, things that were taking up energetic space that you just did not need. And it is allowing for a lot of opportunity to come in, Pisces. And I feel like that's also why you might be getting a lot of attention right now, Pisces. So keep that in mind. When we create energetic space, sometimes people can just sense it. And instantly, what happens when we create space? Energy wants to come back in. <laughs> it wants to creep in because it's like, oh, space. You know what I mean? Oh, a void I can fill. I'm not saying you have voids. I'm just saying a space that can be filled with something. And people can sense that, Pisces. So you might be getting a lot of attention, okay? Um, so that being said, let's go on ahead and get the cards calibrated. Pleasing forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. October 22nd to the 31st. I just heard learned. Learned? You learned a lot, Pisces. You learned a lot, I feel like, about yourself, actually. I think you learned a lot about yourself recently, which is beautiful. And like I said, you're coming into a lot of light energy. A lot of you, this hasn't hit you yet because you're still working on letting shit go. Yeah, I'm getting the sun card, actually. I'm getting, like, sun energy with that. Do we know the Leo? You could have that in your chart. dropping weight some of you some of you this this releasing of stuff might have might actually be physical weight as well okay so keep that in mind whether you want to lose weight or don't want to lose weight some of you might be dropping weight maybe you don't realize it okay oh i'm not taking those that was too many that didn't feel right losing forth messages of truth healing and love for those who need it for pisces sun moon rising venus and jupiter October 22nd to the 31st. Pleasing forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Pisces, sun, moon, rising, being very whimsical. Whimsical. Pisces, I like this energy. It's very childlike. It's very childlike. It's almost kind of 
I want to say almost innocent, almost kind of innocent. It's very attractive, Pisces. It's very, very, very attractive. You're going to be attracting people that you don't want to attract. Keep that in mind as well, okay? Just use your discernment with that. Use your discernment. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, October 22nd to the 31st. I just heard Virgo. Um, was that in the Virgo reading? I think it was. I think in the Virgo reading, there was someone like craving someone, aching, aching. That's what it was. It was aching. Pisces. <laughs> well, I want to watch the Virgo reading. Virgo is your natural seventh. Excuse me. Uh, ruler of your seventh house, your natural counterpart. Feeding time for Clyde. Um, Pisces, yeah. Oh, no way. I've been seeing all kinds of shit today. Uh, I just saw two. That, honestly, I know I'm in Long Beach, but they look like hawks. They look like big ass birds. Those were not crows. Those were way too big to be crows or ravens. They were big and they were two flying together. Yeah, Pisces, I feel like someone's trying to come in here. Someone's craving you. Someone's wanting you. Someone's wanted to taste you. Um, apparently. Pisces, just be mindful because I can't really pinpoint this person's true intentions outside of sacral energy. So if you're down for that, you're down for that. But again, I think that's also why I'm telling you to use your discernment here. This person might just want to play and not realize that they're just very lusty right now. Who's in forth any messages? Oh, and what did I say? Dropping burdens. Ten of Wands in reverse, Sag energy with the Eight of Cups in reverse, Piscean energy. It's interesting that the Eight of Cups is in reverse, though. I think this is whatever you're letting go of, it's something you've had a really hard time letting go of for quite some time here, okay? Um, I'm also sensing a sense of relief. Pisces, I feel like you've had a conversation recently where maybe you had to go back to a problem or go back to a situation to have a conversation in order to relieve yourself of these burdens. Closure, it's just your closure. Seven of Pentacles in reverse, Taurian energy here. Oh, interesting. Ants in the pants? What the hell? Ants in the pants. I want to just put ants in the pants. Restless. Oh, there's a restless energy here. I don't feel like it's you because you feel really calm. You could have been very antsy to get the closure here that you needed or to just drop the burden of not being able to let something go. But ants in the pants, ants in the pants. Someone's very antsy. Like quite literally antsy, anxious, restless to do something. Tired of stagnicity. <coughs> Pisces, I don't think you've, you've had a lot of stagnicity necessarily. I think you have kind of felt in a rut, mostly because of this weight that needed to be dropped here. Um, the burdens that needed to be dropped here. You could have been antsy for that, but I feel like it's someone else around you that's very antsy and anxious, ty tired of being in the same place. I feel like you're swimming. I feel like you're on the move. You have such a nice little fun energy about you, Pisces. And like I said, a lot of you haven't come into this yet. Um, I feel like it might come on with the new moon in Scorpio because that's going to bring on a lot of sudden changes, a lot, Pisces. And I feel like that's going to really shake up your world in a nice way because you're mutable. You don't mind that. You don't mind that at all. Blazing forth messages of truth, feeling, and love for those who need it. For Pisces, sun, moon, rising... Hold on, we got a peeker. Ooh, devil in reverse. Capricorn energy. Yeah, you broke free. You broke free, little fish. You broke free, you broke free out of the tank, out of the cage, out of the fish trap, whatever you want to call it. Um, interesting. I feel like you breaking away and dropping the burdens or restrictions that's making you feel so free and just able to go and do what you want has made someone very anxious. Yeah, it's made someone very, very anxious. I feel... You did this directly. There's a lot of action and, and like earthy energy here. Now this happened in the physical. This happened in the physical. There's something energetic happening as a result though. There's something energetic happening as a result. Whatever you let go of or release yourself from, like I said, it's very tangible. I do feel like you did this three-dimensionally. A lot of you, this was a conversation that you either had to go back to an issue or back to a person to get closure on to release yourself. Um, others, it's just something you couldn't get past emotionally. It could also be baggage. Either way, you let it go. And as you let this go, very three-dimensionally, very physically, there was action involved in letting this go. It created anxious energy in someone else. Interesting. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, October 22nd to the 31st. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, October 22nd to the 31st. Ooh! 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 Pisces! Ten of Cups. Oh, I like it. Oh, you're going so to your happy place. 
<laughs> you're in a happy, you're gonna, you're going in a happy place. Going to the happy place here. I like it. Oh my God, I love that. That feels so damn good. No wonder you feel amazing, Pisces. Because like I said, you're just kind of on the move in a very sustained momentum. Not going too fast, not going too slow. Doing what makes you happy. You feel light. You dropped all this, the shit here. Emotional baggage for some. Others, you got closure on, on something that you needed to get closure on for a long time now. You released yourself. You unshackled yourself. Creating anxiety in someone else. But all the while, heading towards your happy place. Oh, Pisces, I like it. I really like this. This feels really good. Let's see if we can get anything else in the pre-shuffle. But the cards, are, the cards, I think, are pretty calibrated. <clears throat> Losing forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Some of you, this was all in the name of family. Interesting. Some of you, this is all in the name of family. What's best for your family? Because Ten of Cups is a family vibration. No matter how small or big your family is, your family could be just you. Oh. Ace of Cups in reverse. Interesting. Wow, Pisces, some of you, whatever burden you let go of, and some of this was an emotional burden that you let go of, it was this like unrequited love energy. Ooh. Wow, Pisces, some of you got over some codependency issues, some of you got over some self-love issues or not feeling loved enough, but it definitely feels unrequited. Uh, you could have let go of someone that you felt like wasn't loving you in the way that you needed to be loved or just wasn't equal. Or maybe you love someone and they just straight up didn't love you back. Either way, you let go of that. And I think that person got anxiety once you released yourself as you head towards your Ten of Cups and you're like, well, shit, it's unrequited anyway. I choose myself. <laughs> I choose myself. I choose to be free of anything that's restricting me because I need to be a fish and I need to swim and I need to be happy. And you're going to be happy. But this other person who's attached to you and releasing this burden, they're anxious now. They don't like it. Ooh, Pisces, they don't like it. All right, so let's go ahead and get into your reading here. For those who are new to my channel, new to tarot, please know these messages are very, very general, okay? I read for thousands of people, as do a lot of other YouTube readers. Messages come through for those who need to hear them, as you heard me set the intention, okay? So if it's not your week, it's not your week, and there's nothing wrong with that. Don't need to throw any hate or shade. Just check out another reader. There's a lot of fabulous ones, okay? Also, guys, we are working with energy, so no other messages can be reversed or vice versa, as I said before. So if it's resonating, but the roles are reversed, just switch them. You know who you are in the story if it's resonating, right? Also, don't hang up on the gender of the cards. Nothing is gender specific. We read energy, not gender. Okay? This is a time frame for the 22nd to the 31st, but at times not linear. Whenever you're guided to watch a reading is when you're guided to watch it. And we all work through energy at different rates in different ways. Okay? All right, Pisces, let's do it. Oh, sorry. One more thing. I know so many little things. Any other questions that you have about me or my channel or tarot, look below. There's a lot of information star card wanted to come out in reverse interesting and we just barely got started i'm not going to take it because i barely shuffled the cards getting into your reading here but aquarian energy this wanted to come out could be a customer okay anyway pisces let's get started oh and for those sorry okay last thing i swear i know i know i know last thing a lot of you guys had wanted me to start a vimeo account for single purchase videos it is now up and running go ahead check that out okay any messages for Pisces? Any messages for Pisces? Wait, is the bear back? What the hell? Wait a minute. Oh, Pisces. I'm literally seeing something I've seen before in your readings. I, I don't remember how long ago this was. Maybe this was like a month ago? Sometime last month. I'm seeing that same bear. I'm seeing that same bear. They're back. <laughs> okay, Pisces. Um... Some of you are still dealing with that bear. Maybe you just had to close some stuff out with that bear or they're coming back for another attempt here, okay? That's only for a few of you who resonated with that. That's definitely not for everybody who resonated with that reading, okay? I wanna make that very clear. Any messages for Pisces? I lit they literally showed me the exact same scene. I was like, it's like watching a movie. <laughs> it's like, oh, I know, I know that one. <laughs> anyway, any messages for Pisces? Regarding love, October 22nd to the 31st. Wow, the way the cards are coming out for you, Pisces, they're coming out with some fierceness. Four of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. Strength card in reverse, Leo energy. Six of Swords, Aquarian energy. Ooh, with the Six of Cups. Uh, Scorpionic energy could also be past life soulmate karmic energy with the king of swords in reverse. Aquarian energy could also be Gemini or Libra. I feel lies here. Gotta be honest, Pisces. I feel lies. I don't like that feeling. Gripping. 
grip it. Yeah, Pisces, I feel like this is you dropping the burdens of the past here. Something that you couldn't hold on to for, that you couldn't let go of for a very long time. For a very long time. Whether you were aware of it or not, something, something recently has made you go, I don't need to hold on to this shit anymore. Yeah, because strength card in reverse, I feel like you feel you had no control over the situation. Leo energy. Like I said, it could be not the Leo I picked up on that earlier. Either way, Pisces, it's something you were gripping onto. I feel like you were gripping onto this situation or person because you felt like you had no control over this person or the situation. So sometimes when we feel that way, keep in mind when we do want to exert control, it's out of fear. Pisces, I think you were either afraid of what this person wasn't doing, wasn't saying, or how it was going or not going. Either way, there was fear here for you, and you didn't have control over the situation, it was over the situation so you held on to it to have some sense of control. However, this is you moving past that with the Six of Swords, moving past that, and I do feel like this person was lying to you. Or you've, if they didn't directly lie to you, you felt like they were lying to you. Interesting. You felt like they were lying to you. Oh, boy. Let's keep it going. Any messages for Pisces regarding love, October 22nd to the 31st? Any messages for Pisces regarding love, October 22nd to the 31st? Any messages for Pisces regarding love, October 22nd? Ooh, judgment in reverse. Fire energy, also scorpionic energy for me as a reader here. Ooh, I don't like this. It's interesting, Pisces, because I feel like as you drop this weight, you kind of just gave it to the other person. <laughs> like, if you're not going to be straight up with me, or if you're not going to tell me this, that, or the other, and you're going to keep me in, I feel like they kept you in limbo a little bit. If you're going to keep me in this limbo where it's like, I, like I'm just at the mercy of whatever you're going to say or not going to say, I, I, I need to, I need to not. I need to not. <laughs> I need to get the hell out of here. I need to go swim away. And as you did that, all the stress and burdens energy, really, because anything is everything's energy, right? You were holding on to, when you let it go, you just gave it back to them. You just gave it to them. Interesting. I like that. Yeah, straight up. You just gave it to them. Any other messages for Pisces regarding love? October 22nd to the 31st. I really feel like this person was holding back a lot, a lot. And I, I gotta be honest, it does feel intentional. It does feel intentional, Pisces. Keep in mind, this can be vice versa for my cross watchers. Any messages for Pisces? Or I guess anyone, really, you know, whatever. You, you know how that's resonating with you. I'm gonna stop. Oh, Page of Pentacles, the olive branch here. The olive branch. As you move away from this person, Pisces, Again, all, like that's so. It's just how energy works, right? The push and pull. You 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 drop it. You you keep looking forward. You keep moving on, because like I said, for some this was a straight up liar or even a manipulator. For some, a, a total narcissist. For some, others they were just holding stuff back either because they were guarded in their own right or they were afraid to speak or whatever. You gave all that baggage right back to them, and they know it. They know it. They feel it. Makes them he hella anxious, and I feel like they're going to reach out to you. So keep in mind, guys, I'm seeing a whole long story here. So this could have started at any point for any of you, and it could be ending at any point for any of you. So decide where you are in this energy. But basically, Pisces, someone wasn't being honest. Either way, someone was not being honest with you. Whether it's someone that you've known from childhood. This could be a father figure because it is the king of swords here. Um, or someone they had a lot of emotion for. Definitely a soulmate energy at the very least. At the very least, someone who's part of your soul tribe. I feel like you were supposed to learn lessons from this person. Either way, someone wasn't being honest with you. Not honest, not very communicative, some manipulative, some a narcissist. Either way, it left you kind of in the dark, left you in limbo, left you feeling like you had no say in the situation, no power. Oh, Pisces, that's what it was. Left you feeling like you had no power in the situation whatsoever. And it contributed to you trying to attain some sense of power by having some sense of control, either by just gripping on to what this person did to you or trying to grip onto the person. It could have even translated to control issues. Okay, so take that as it resonates. This is you moving past it, man. This is you moving past it. Some of you, this is abandonment issues. This could have been a family member who left, most definitely could have been. Either way, you're letting it go. I love it. You're letting it go. You're letting it go, and as you let it go, they feel that sense of anxiety. 
they feel that anxiety, they feel all that weight, that energy just like hitting right back at them because you're releasing it. It's got to go somewhere. It's going right back to them because they've got some unresolved issues of their own. And there's about to be an olive branch because of it. Interesting. Overall energy. Seven of Pentacles, Taurian energy, a reevaluation, examination, waiting. Waiting, waiting, waiting. It's so interesting, Pisces, because this person left you in limbo. Now they're in limbo. <laughs> but I feel like you were very direct. I don't feel like you just like ghosted this person. I feel like you were very direct in your letting this go, leaving this behind. It's, like I said, very three dimensional, very three dimensional, very tangible. Okay. So I don't want to sound like a broken record, but I, I do repeat myself a lot so that you guys can really marinate on the information because I know I pick up on different groups of you okay so i just really want to reiterate for some of you this could have been a family member some of you this is this could have been a lover even a boss because it's kind of the king of swords energy it's someone from your past someone you have baggage from someone who's even a soulmate of yours okay they could have been a narcissist they could have been a manipulator they could have been a straight up liar or they could have just been very held back and reserved in what they wanted to share or not share some of you this person was very in and out of your life some of you, this person might have abandoned you through the course of your life. Either way, you're releasing it, but it left you in limbo, left you in a place of question mark. It left you in a place of, am I really safe? Am I not safe? What's really going on? What's not going on? It left you feeling very insecure and very powerless. And it either created some control issues for some of you, made you want to grip onto this person or grip onto the situation. Either way, a sense of not being able to let this go. It took up a lot of energetic, energetic space within you. You're now letting it go. You're now letting it go because you knew it was not good to hold on to all of that here. And for a lot of you, this person is feeling that. And they're taking on the burden that you you basically relieved yourself from. Olive branch time. Okay, this is also you taking on a new approach to life because you let this shit go. Okay, let's get into the Pisces. Let's look at the four of pentacles. Let's look at the holding on. Hmm, I heard mentor. Some of you, this could have been a mentor of yours. Spellcasters. Let's do spellcasters. Talk about the Four of Pentacles for Pisces. Talk about the Four of Pentacles for Pisces regarding love. Talk about the Four of Pentacles for Pisces regarding love, October 22nd to the 31st. Sign of the Four of Pentacles for Pisces regarding love, October 22nd to the 31st. Sign of the Four of Pentacles for Pisces regarding love, October 22nd to the 31st. Ooh. I'm hearing codependency. Queen of Cups in reverse. Can't see your energy. Can't see Pisces or Scorpio. Yeah, this 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 turned into a codependent dynamic. Whether it just turned it into straight up codependency issues. If this is someone who left you as a child, or left you, you know, a family member who might have abandoned you, um, or if this is someone who just was not honest with you, who lied to you romantically, relationship or at work. Either way, it created such a sense of powerlessness that you needed some power. You needed some control, and that translated into codependency. Talk about Four of Pentacles. You're very hurt by this person. Very hurt by this person. Talk about Four of Pentacles for the for Pisces. Regarding love, October 22nd to the 31st. Oh. Oh, oh, Pisces. I don't like this. Three of Wands, Aries energy, Five of Pentacles, Taurian energy here. Some of you, I'm getting that this is this created a, a dynamic within yourself that you always expect people to leave. <sighs> that you expect people to leave or you always expect to be alone. Oh. Oh, Pisces. Um, that's that's hard. That's really hard. Straight up, that's like, that's seriously all I'm getting. Like, always expecting people to leave, always expecting to be abandoned, or always expecting to be left alone in some capacity or just be alone here. I'm hearing unwanted. Oh, Pisces. Feeling unwanted. Tell me about the Four of Pentacles. Tell me about the Four of Pentacles for Pisces. I like this, though. Three of Swords in reverse Libra energy. Healing starts to take place. 
Yeah, I feel like this is stuff that you're healing from, Pisces. I feel like that's what's really going on during this time. Some of you, this is long-standing issues that are being done away with. It's making you feel a lot lighter as you get rid of this stuff. So I have about Four of Pentacles. Keep away. Keep away. Pisces, some of you played keep away with your heart unintentionally. Unintentionally. So I have about Four of Pentacles for the partner of Pisces. Overall energy. Five of Swords in reverse. Um... Aquarian energy, Venus and Aqua to be specific, the devil, Capricorn energy, and then we have, oh wow, Queen of Wands, Aries energy, could also be fire or water here. Oh, I'm getting a couple things. I'm getting a couple things. Um, while you were, while you were dealing with these issues, while you, let's say the peak of these issues, the peak of this issue within this dynamic, or the peak of these issues through the course of your life, big how it's resonating, it could just be within a relationship, within a dynamic, for some, this is a life pattern. Decide now. Okay. Um, for those where this is more of like a life pattern, you, you feel like you kind of let them take, let it take over is what I'm getting with this. It's almost like you, this feels reflective. After you deal with these issues and get lighter and release them, for those that are the lifelong pattern people here, um, it's almost like you look back and you feel like you let these issues and this deeply rooted codependency issues or abandonment issues really lead you and really take control of your life and your relationships okay as a reflective energy for those of this is just a, a dynamic within a relationship um i'm getting a very controlling person i'm getting a very controlling energy with this uh oh pisces okay don't hate me <laughs> don't hate me now i'm just the messenger We've all got our shit. We've all got our shit. Uh, Pisces, I feel like this is you trying to control the situation. I really feel like this is you trying to control the situation. And oh, Pisces, this is a lesson learned for a lot of you. Okay, like I said, by the end of it, some of you are taking on a whole new perspective to relationships in life and being reflective and looking back at your behavior, the way you felt, and maybe you're realizing... Okay, I didn't handle that situation the best because my, my issues got triggered or I thought this, that, or the other. I am looking at someone who is very controlling here in this energy and I feel like push the other person away. I'm just the messenger, Pisces. I'm just the messenger. I felt a little, I felt a little daggers. <laughs> felt a couple daggers right there, okay? Um, and it's because of codependent energy. Now, no one's perfect. We all we we all go through this shit. You're being reflective now, and it's allowing you to heal these issues and heal these problems. Okay, we've all done shit in relationships that we're not proud of or not happy about. But I'm definitely picking up on feminine Piscean energy here that maybe has that maybe has been a little too controlling in situations here. Okay, when it comes to relationships, specifically with a certain soulmate here, this is more of an active dynamic as opposed to those life longer life longer lifelong pattern group that i was talking about earlier okay okay don't hate me now <laughs> let's move on to judgment in reverse and then we'll look at the page of pentacles either way all this crap the devil is being let go of no matter what devil's being let go of as long as we all do our work so let's look at judgment in reverse um i haven't done oh yeah i haven't used this deck in a while the centa muerta deck Tell me about judgment in reverse. Tell me about judgment in reverse. And I'm not saying the other person's an angel, Pisces. I'm not saying that, okay? They definitely have been lying to you or withholding information, okay? Most definitely. Most definitely. And that could be very triggering. So either way, I, if this is a dynamic that's actively going on here, Pisces, if you've maybe been a little controlling or a little codependent on someone, it's because they triggered you by either lying to you or not being honest to you, okay? Sometimes it takes two to tango. And I'm not saying either party's guilty. I'm just the messenger. Okay. Tell me about judgment in reverse. And others of you, this is just your childhood baggage, okay? Tell me about judgment in reverse. Tell me about judgment in reverse. Tell me about judgment in reverse for Pisces. I do feel a lot of forgiveness coming in here with the judgment card. A lot of forgiveness. Uh, Pisces, you could be uh, learning to forgive this person. 
And that's can, that can be very healing, by the way. Forgiving people is very, very healing because we forgive for ourselves. We don't do it for the other person. Um, and I know some people have struggled with that concept. Um, but when you forgive someone, you're just releasing yourself from holding on to all that negative energy. That's all it is. That's all it is. Tell me about judgment in reverse. For Pisces. Tell me about judgment in reverse for Pisces regarding love, October 22nd to the 31st. Tell me you are forgiving yourselves too, which is also a really, a really important part of healing. You know, it's like, and that's the other thing. Sorry, little talk about healing really quick, Pisces. When it comes to healing stuff, whether it was our, it doesn't matter whose fault it is, first of all. It doesn't matter whose fault it is. Things happen, shit hurts. We just need to accept it, right? We need to accept it, and that's the first part of healing. And I think that's the hardest part because people feel so uncomfortable accepting emotions. Everything we feel is just what we feel. If we feel angry, if we feel hurt, if we feel sad, that's not a bad thing. It just is what it is. And I think we really need to be better about getting out of like the whole, well, I feel bad. You feel hurt, right? Like, like let's label these emotions. It's like, you feel hurt, you feel angry, you feel abandoned, you feel lied to. You're feeling those things for a reason. And when we come into acceptance of what we feel, then we can start to have progression and to move past it. It's okay to accept it and say those things out loud. That's what's the that's what the healing part of it, right? Anyway, tell me about judgment in reverse. I always equate it to the nervous system. Like if you got your arm cut off, that's gonna hurt. <laughs> it's your body telling you, hey, your arm's missing. <laughs> Pay attention, please. <laughs> That's all, that's all it is. That's all it is. Tell me about judgment in reverse for Pisces. Let's see here. Ooh. Ooh. Whoa, 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 yeah. Eight of Swords. Gemini energy and the Five of Wands. The Leo energy. This is being trapped in major conflict. Major tension. Oh, I, I almost just get like a back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Like no getting out of this energy. Oh, that's interesting. Pisces, I feel like this is the energy you're releasing. You're releasing all these inner conflicts and feeling trapped about what if, what if, what if I need, I need, I want, I want, and all that, all that not so, like not so great energy. I'll just say not so great. Tension filled. A lot of tension filled energy. All that shit, you're releasing that. And for those who are in an active dynamic with a person like this, they're feeling those energies because you've been holding on to it. And as you release it, the other person really feels the impact of that. Okay. And like I said, for those where this is more of like a lifelong pattern that you're getting rid of here, Pisces, um, I'm hearing mercy, mercy, mercy of others. You're no longer allowing yourself to be at the mercy of others. You're recognizing that that's like not the root issue, but a branching issue, a branching issue, being at the mercy of others. Tell me about judgment in reverse. Tell me about judgment in reverse for Pisces. Regarding love, either way, Pisces, you're being liberated, so enjoy it. Enjoy feeling light. Ooh, that's a lot, but we'll take it. Four of Wands, Aries energy. Ooh, the High Priestess. Hi, Pisces. Piscean energy, also Gemini for me as a reader. Wow, with Judgment in reverse. Fire energy, also Scorpionic energy for me as a reader with the King of Wands in reverse. Leo energy, fire could also be air. This is definitely this King of Swords. Um, oh, archetype. They just said archetype. For those where this is a more of a longstanding issue, I feel like recently you've been able to release it because you've been presented with someone of the similar energy, someone who fits that same archetype of whoever did this to you in the past, okay? Um, others of you, it is the same person if you're dealing with this person in an active dynamic, okay? Either way, Pisces, you as the high priestess, you're looking and you're, you're looking at this archetype, you're looking at this person, and you're just like, oh, you, I don't got to deal with your bullshit. <laughs> I don't have to allow you to keep me trapped. I'm not at the mercy of you. You you are going to do whatever you're going to do. And a King of Swords in a verse with a King of Wands in a verse will do whatever the hell they damn well please, okay? They are very uncommittal. They're very non-committal. They're very much about themselves and what's going to make them feel good and make them feel happy and serve their best interest. That is a King of Swords in reverse with a King of Wands in a verse. Very much so. Very much so. And you are definitely a soulmate to this person. Just have to point that out. Either way, Pisces, you're realizing that. And for those where this is a lifelong pattern, 
it's someone that you have some kind of a foundation with. It's something that you've built something with. Someone you've built something with, whether it's a, a house, a home, a business, just a straight up friendship or a romantic relationship or anywhere in between. You're seriously looking at this person, whether they remind you of someone from the past who did this to you, causing this lifelong pattern, or it's the same person within this dynamic that you're having this whole situation with. You're just like, yeah, I don't gotta deal with your shit. You're not gonna keep me trapped. You're not going to keep me trapped because I don't have to be trapped by any of you, <laughs> right? It's like you're you're having this epiphany, Pisces, and this is what's allowing you to release it, to release, you know, these codependencies, this lifelong issue for some, these issues of abandonment, whatever it is, Pisces, you have been allowing yourself to be at the mercy of others. And you're looking at this person like, why should I ever let you have control over me? You shouldn't. I love this, Pisces. This is a big fat lesson learned big fat lesson learned it's allowing you to get away from it as well and release it tell me about judgment in reverse tell me about judgment in reverse for pisces regarding love october 22nd to the 31st oh shit. wow knight of swords in reverse gemini energy could also be air or fire this person this person's holding a lot back from you pisces whoever they are holding a lot back a lot and i do feel that there's been a lot of drama here yeah, I feel like there's been a lot of drama and a lot of fighting between the two of you, a lot. And you haven't been able to see the way out because you've allowed, you've allowed the situation to con kind of control you. And as in, in a weird way, it's so interesting. You've allowed this person's actions to affect you to the point where it really has kind of taken a hold over you and you are holding on to it in response. You're holding on to it in response here. Interesting. And you're realizing it must just be like one conversation or one fight or whatever it is. Oh, that's right. I did pick up on that. Having a conversation that's allowing you to drop the burdens. And you're just like, oh, my God. <laughs> it's such an epiphany, Pisces. You're just like, I've allowed this to happen. Like, um, you're realizing you've kind of participated in allowing yourself to hold on to this shit and be trapped. And be trapped. If you don't allow yourself to be at the mercy of other people's actions or what they say or what they do you will always be free pisces this is something you're learning overall energy we have temperance in reverse sag energy yeah this is major imbalance here major imbalance and major need for healing again whether this is, this is a lifelong issue or just the issue within a dynamic you're having with someone page of pentacles olive branch and taking on a new way of looking in at life and relationships wow pisces i love you <laughs> i love you pisces uh I'm feeling legacy. Let's do legacy. Tell me the Page of Pentacles for Pisces. Tell me the Page of Pentacles. Some of you are dealing with a player. I just got to be honest here. Some of you guys are dealing with a bit of a player energy. Tell me the Page of Pentacles. Tell me the Page of Pentacles for Pisces regarding love October 22nd to the 31st Tell me about the page of pentacles for Pisces regarding love October 22nd to the 31st one more Tell me about the page of pentacles for Pisces regarding love October 22nd to the 31st Tell me about this page of pentacles Ooh, page of cups. I do feel apologies, Pisces. I do feel apologies coming your way here. Tell me about the page of pentacles for Pisces. And it's so funny. That's how it is. When you release someone or release energy like this or baggage or issues like this, it just, it just, you know, like a boomerang. <laughs> you know, you get results back. People come back to say sorry. People come back all humbled. It's just how it happens. It's just how it goes. Tell me about the page of pentacles. Oh yeah, Knight of Swords in reverse. Gemini energy could also be air or fire. Coming back a little dramatically, but also very much like, hey, I'm sorry for all that drama. I'm sorry for not being honest with you. Sorry for not being honest with you. So I'm about Page of Pentacles. So I'm about Page of Pentacles. Some of you where um, it's relating to a childhood issue or a childhood abandonment. Uh, you're practicing forgiveness with this person and just kind of realizing that that's just all they were capable of. That's interesting. That's all they were. That's what I'm getting. That's all they were capable of. 
That'll resonate for who it needs to resonate for. Ooh, five of swords in reverse. Venus in Aquarian energy with a hanged man, Piscean energy. Again, forgiveness. More and more and more forgiveness. How to forgive. How to forgive these people. How to forgive people from the past. How to forgive anyone who's ever fit this archetype, including the person who's actively doing this to you. Wow. How do I do it? How do I forgive? Some of you guys are going to be spending some time with that. And... Some of you have to forgive a lot of people who fit this archetype, just being honest. It's going to take going through multiple, going through your past, forgiving a lot of different people who fit this archetype to really dig out that core wound and dig out that issue and heal that once and for all. Some of you guys might spend some time with that, but every single one you do, you're going to get lighter and lighter and lighter and lighter. Time out the Page of Pentacles. When you get, some of you are getting directly approached by this person who is actively in your life. Others are going to have to forgive this person from afar, Okay. Um, as they say sorry, you're trying to figure out how to forgive them. Mm. Talk about Page of Pentacles. Talk about Page of Pentacles for Pisces. Regarding love, October 22nd. Yeah, to the 31st. It's not going to be super easy, Pisces, but you're going to do it. We have the Three of Pentacles in reverse, Capricorn energy. You don't really want to deal with this person, the person who's actively in this dynamic with you. Um, ooh, 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 ooh. Wow. Hermit in reverse, Virgo energy with death in reverse, Scorpionic energy and seven of cups, more Scorpionic energy. A lot of Scorpio energy there. We are going into Scorpio season right here. I'm getting resistance. You're having a hard time forgiving this person, Pisces, because you're realizing that they kind of are resisting reality a little bit here. They're saying sorry but it's like they're still not a swords in a verse even though they're apologizing for the drama and maybe even saying like hey i'm really sorry for this but they're still holding back information they're not really being really realistic with you or they're not giving you the full truth and that's why you're having a hard time forgiving this person again that you have an active dynamic with okay you can still forgive the person from your past who started this whole archetype for you but either way that's why you're having a hard time forgiving them they're not being very authentic oh that's what it is they're not being fully authentic and some of you might even start to question this apology if it's even a legit apology i would question that too doesn't mean you can't get rid of the issue you just got to forgive this person in your own way at when you're ready when you're ready and if they never wise up to their shit they never wise up to their shit you don't forgive them for them you forgive them for you overall energy eight of swords gemini energy again looking in the, looking for a new perspective um, trying to look at it a different way so that you don't have to stay stuck anymore, okay? And as you release yourself, this person starts to feel stuck. I don't think they ever expected you to release yourself in this kind of a way, Pisces. But for those who have an active dynamic here, they're starting to feel stuck after you release yourself. Again, law of attraction, mirroring. It's just how it works. And even when you get an apology from them, you're not going to totally believe them because you can tell they're not being authentic to themselves. So how could they be authentic to you? right all right pisces let's get some advice like i said for a lot of you this is just lifelong patterning that you're combating here and you're going down to the core issue and almost like doing a little bit of like going back year by year by year everyone who's ever fit this archetype till you get to like the original to the og and then you can get rid of that patient zero <laughs> essentially okay all right pisces let's get some advice here am i in focus all right, there we go. Any advice for Pisces? Any advice for Pisces? Any advice for Pisces regarding this spread? 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 Ooh, dolphin spirit. This and that are true. 20 breaking down to a two. I love this card. This is basically being balanced. Being balanced in your dark and light energies, your masculine, your feminine. I love this card. It's spending equal time in the light, equal time in the dark here. You're going to find your balance here, Pisces. And not to mention, doesn't it just remind you of fish, right? It is a dolphin after all. Um, 
you're going to you're going to find your bearings here. You're going to find your balance out of a situation that's been so imbalanced. Right? I feel like a lot of this dynamic for those where this is an active di dynamic and for those where this is a long-term patterning in every relationship where this archetype has fit the bill of where this long-term patterning has started, again, pick what group you're in. It's been a lot of darkness. I'm not going to lie, Pisces. It's been a lot of dark energy. You haven't been able to spend a whole... You haven't been able to come up for air. Thank you. That's what it is. You haven't been able to come up for air and enjoy the light, enjoy the sun. And I was getting a lot of sun energy for you. It's time for the sun. Time to come up for air by releasing this person, releasing this baggage, releasing patient zero. So you don't have to deal with these issues of control, abandonment, codependency anymore. Okay. Ooh, I like it. Crow spirit, co-create with spirit. 17 breaking down to an eight here. You are working with spirit on this. Okay. You are working with spirit here to manifest this. We did get the high priestess for you. Okay. So definitely sit with your guides if you can. Sit with your intuition on this to go a little deep. Deep within yourself. Because I feel like this epiphany is going to happen as you're having a conversation with this person in this active dynamic here. For those where it's a, lot, a long term life patterning, I feel like it's going to happen the same way through a conversation. It's going to trigger something in you. Sit with that. Just sit with it. Sit with that trigger. That's what it is. Sit with that trigger. And you'll start to suss it out. You'll start to realize you'll start to put you'll start to put two and two together. And spirits really helping you get there to, to come up for air again. Even fish need to breathe sometimes, depending on the fish. Anyway, not going there. Any other advice for Pisces? Any advice for spirits trying to bring you to the light? Thank you. They wanted me to say that. Spirits trying to bring you back to the light. Any advice for Pisces regarding this spread? Any advice for Pisces regarding this spread? Any advice for Pisces regarding this spread? Let's see here. Oh, damn it. <laughs> I made a second video. Pisces, frog spirit, clear out the clutter. 28 cyclical energy and horse spirit. Freedom is yours, Pisces. 33, a master number. You can be free of this shit, okay? You can. You just got to do the work. Spirit's trying to get you there. Spirit's trying to bring you back to the light. Spirit's trying to get you balanced in your energies here, Pisces. You can do it. You can clear this shit out. Clear out the clutter. That's exactly what it is. It's clearing out the devil. Clearing out patient zero. That started all this shit for you and your relationships and with this person specifically. And no longer tolerating that behavior. I like it. Any other advice for Pisces regarding this spread? Any other advice for Pisces regarding this spread? No longer being at the mercy of others. They want me to say that a lot to you guys. Ooh, nice. Nice. Grasshopper spirit, take the leap of faith. 30 breaking down to a three. Having honest conversations is what I got with this. This is my full card in this deck, but it is about communication first and foremost and not being afraid to go there. Pisces, I'm just being honest. Some of you are going to tell this person off. Mm -hmm. Some of you are going to tell this person off. Don't be afraid to. If, that, if that's what you need to heal and to really feel empowered for a hot minute, do it do it you're gonna feel amazing here okay i know i'm a broken record they just want me to say it again you don't ever have to be at the mercy of others ever ever <laughs> okay overall oh my god so perfect that spirit a rebirth is assured energy of five here yeah this is definitely change and transformation for you and you are coming into a whole new you because you're getting rid of a lot of shit a lot of shit you're gonna be free you're going to feel like a whole new you. You're going to be so light, you can come up for air again. You're not going to be weighed down by cement bricks of what happened to you as a child, what happened to you in every other relationship, or how people just played you, lied to you, weren't honest to you, and at the end of the day, led you to be a little controlling, led you to be codependent, led you, led you to try to hold on to people as tight as possible so that you wouldn't feel like you'd get abandoned again. It's right here. Either way, you're about to be free. Don't be afraid to go there. Don't be afraid to do the work. And if you have to have a conversation with someone or tell someone off, don't be afraid to go there and do it. Okay? All right, Pisces. I love you guys. I'm sorry if it sounded a little harsh. I'm just the messenger, as I always say. And just take these as it resonates because it's definitely not for everybody, Pisces. But I hope you guys definitely found that insightful and helpful. Don't forget to check out Patreon, Vimeo, Facebook, 
Instagram, Twitter. Out of the social media stuff, I really only use Instagram, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> Every once in a while, I'll go on Facebook. Um, but I hope you guys did enjoy it to some extent, okay? I will see you guys later. Have a great night, Pisces. Namaste.